because of some things that have been happening recently, I feel like um, I ought to talk a little bit about a subject that's very important to me. Um, subject of suicide. Um, I have a friend who I've been talking to for about two weeks, and within the two weeks that I've known him, he has tried to kill himself four times. He never succeeded, but um, the other day he was brought to the hospital because they felt like he needed to get help and um, he had <clears throat> congestive heart failure and was brought to surgery and um, while he was in surgery he suffered from internal bleeding and he passed away. Um, now if you look at it one way he got what he wanted. And if you look at it another way, he, he isn't in pain anymore and he isn't suffering anymore. But I, he was 27 and um, the heart failure was caused because of the way he was trying to kill himself was he was taking a lot of pills and he was giving himself heart attacks by doing so. Um, his friends are devastated um, and that's what happens when you kill yourself which the way I see it is basically what happened maybe it was maybe he didn't intentionally try to kill himself this time but he died because of what he was doing to himself and because of the fact that the doctors were giving him the wrong medication. Um, he never would have had that heart, the heart failure had he not been trying to kill himself. Um, when you kill yourself, I think of it as a very selfish thing to do. And a lot of people will be shocked or enraged by that statement. But when you kill yourself, and I know because I've tried, you aren't thinking about your friends or your family. You're not thinking about how your loved ones will feel if you're gone. You're thinking about how you feel right now. You're thinking about how much you can't feel like you can stand to go through life anymore. And as much as it's sad that you are in so much pain that you don't want to live anymore, and I can understand that feeling, I've been there, it, you have to think about how much it will hurt the people around you. Do you want people to feel that way? Do you want people to wonder if it was their fault because with my friend a couple of us kind of feel like it was our fault even though we know that it wasn't it's hard to kind of understand that i had a good friend who killed himself playing russian roulette in april several years ago and um, even though it's been almost 10 years now I'm still haunted by him and I know I'm not the only one <sighs> he had a lot of friends and he had a lot of family who loved him, who still love him regardless of the fact that he's gone, regardless of the fact that he did it to himself. We will never stop loving him. 
suicide doesn't just affect the person who commits suicide. It affects everybody around them. And I guess that's kind of what I wanted to say. So thank you for listening. I'm sorry for going all mushy and obnoxious and emotional. But like I said at the beginning, this is a subject that's very, very close to me.